Hello and welcome to a new R programming webcast. Today I want to show you how to create interactive maps of any European country, but at a regional level. And as an example, we will map uh, Switzerland. So we will begin by downloading a data set about the share of women by education level and by Swiss county called Canton. And then we will create this interactive map. And finally, as a bonus, I want to show you also how easy it is to uh, create different maps with the same data, but from different groups. And also how to create interactive map with the slider to compare the evolution between two years, for example, for each region. So this is for Switzerland, but you can use this code also for any country um, in Europe. And if you want to download this code and follow along with this tutorial, you can join my newsletter on felixanalytics.com. And once you subscribe, you will receive an automatic email from me uh, with the URL of my GitHub account where you can download all the code. That being said, let's open RStudio and do some mapping. So let's start by installing the necessary R packages if they are not installed on your computer. And then we will load the Tidyverse, which is an ecosystem of R packages for data wrangling and data visualization. The BFS R package, which is a package I developed and maintained to search on down data from the Swiss Federal Statistical Office. The Gscore R package, if I pronounce it correctly, to access errors that mapping data. MapView to create easily interactive maps. The SFR package to work with simple features in R and Leaf Sync, which is a plugin from the Leaflet R package uh, to make this specific bonus realization uh, I will show you at the end of this tutorial. So let's begin by downloading a Swiss dataset, which contains geographic data. So using the BFS package with the BFS underscore get data function over here, you can download any dataset from the National Swiss Statistics statistical office. So what you should do is look for a specific data set, find this uh, BFS number, choose the language. So here DE for Deutsch, so in German, you can have it also in French and Italian and sometimes some data sets are available in English. And you can also add the clean names argument as true to clean automatically the column names of your data set. So let's run this function. So let's have a quick look at the raw data. Here is a data structure on sorry for my German accent in advance, as you can hear, I have French accent. So Bildungsstufe is the education level. Schulkanton is the canton, the Swiss canton, so the Swiss region or county. Geschlecht is the gender, so we have the non total gender on man or woman. We have the Stat Angehörigkeit Kategorie, so which stands for the uh, nationality category, if I can translate that this way. Jahr is for the year, and Lernende is the number of students or learners. So what I want to do now is to see the share or the proportion of a woman for a Swiss learners or students for each level of education. So we'll have to do some quick data wranglings for that. We'll use pivot wider to pivot by gender and we take the number from the student and we will calculate the proportion or share of women. So let's have a look again now at our transform data set. And as you can see here, we have this new share woman variable. So we'll use now the Gisco get nuts function so we can specify the country. So if you look at the documentation over here, we can see we can specify if we want the country level, the group of state regions, the states regions, or the counties. So that's what we want. So counties, province, district, or canton for Switzerland. So just by by running this function, you will connect ourselves to the Eurostat API and get the data. So now if we print this Switzerland underscore SF object in the console, we will see we indeed have a simple feature object, which contains 26 features on nine fields. So, and here are the different features or columns we have in our object. Next step now on final step before doing the interactive map is to join our Swiss student gender share data set with our geographic data set and we will do some extra cleaning. Our data set is ready. So now time to finally do this interactive map of Switzerland. So we will do some filtering to visualize specific elements of this data set. So we will choose only the year 2001 and 2002. Year stands for year in German. The Schulkanton, which is a county, we will remove the uh, Switzerland national level. And for the origin of the national 
nationality of the learner or students, we will take only the Swiss students over here. We will select only the specific variable we are interested in. Geography is the SF, is a feature from the SF object. And we will pivot our data set uh, wider from uh, using the buildings to face or the education level. And we will take the number from the proportion of women. And uh, we will uh, create this object as an SF object. So this is very important a function and an important step here. On your own data set, you want to run this, this function also from the SF package, so line 66. So you are sure your data set is indeed of class SF. Otherwise, the function I will show you later to create the interactive map may probably not work. And now using the map view R package, we will just run this uh, little map view function here, which has a Z column, the name of the values here. So as we pivoted our data set, let me show you that. We will use this uh, specific column. So here it's our column, the buildings uh, to fair total here. And then later on, we will see how we can visualize these four uh, variables in uh, four different map as a synchronized visualization. But for now, let's create only one here. So running these two lines of code 68 and 69. And here is our map. We can also zoom and click on the different counties or cantons from Switzerland. And we will see the different variables we pre-selected uh, by default created by this map view function. You can further customize the pop-up here on the different elements as well as the map here. You can choose from these different layers. You can also choose only one. So be sure to explore by yourself how to use this map view R package. You can find all the documentation online. So now as a bonus, I want to show you how easy it is also to synchronize multiple uh, maps uh, together. And here, as you can see, just in one function using the leaf synchronize package with a sync function over here, you can put your own code for each interactive map uh, followed by a comma over here. So if I take the first one over here and I run it, you will see here it's only for the tertiary level, the portion of women. And this would be for the secondary level two, monetary school. And here is the layer name that I made the translation in English is training that cannot be divided into level as a percent of Swiss women. So if you uh, put different uh, maps from the map view and with a comma between them, you can put them together in a synchronized realization. And as you can see here, the uh, map are synchronized. And if you click at one here, so let's take Geneva, for example, we can see the information for each categories and you can uh, choose uh, different things and you can customize also by changing the layers and you can uh, add different uh, maps showing different information that can be done very easily uh, using uh, this uh, sync R function. And finally, I want to show you how to compare two different maps, but this time using a slider. So here we will uh, recreate a data set, but this time taking the data from the year uh, 1990 on 2000. So it will be the same. So we can compare the last uh, data from 2001, 2002 to the oldest data uh, 1999 here. And to compare these two maps with the slider, as you can see here in 9100, all you have to do is to put you to object uh, map one on map two with this bar here, this R operator in R. And if you run this line 100, you will see the two maps over here with this uh, slider over here that you can use. So let me zoom. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but we can see the difference in the color palette. So in the more recent data, the color is more yellow, which means that more the share of women is higher compared to the older uh, data. So you can easily run this slider. So it's quite a nice, neat uh, visualization that you can create quite easily using this great uh, leaflet plugin called uh, Leaf uh, Sync. Well, I hope you find this tutorial on code useful. If you did, uh, feel free to put a like or even consider subscribing. If you want to get the code, you can join my newsletter on felixanalytic.com. And I see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.